TV. Thanks for being here with us today. Pleasure, Max. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about your family? Yes, um, there's myself, Glenn, my husband, uh, Finn, who um, is 13 and Finn has high functioning autism, and Tom, who is 11 and who's mainstream. And when did you find out your child was um, I found out with Finn very early on. Um, we had problems, he was very premature and I was born by emergency caesarean um, and they weren't even sure, they couldn't even get a heartbeat when that happened. So it was very, very, very um, scary. So we didn't know, you know, how he was going to be anyway. Um, he was in special, special care nursery for three weeks but he progressed very quickly. Um, then by about probably a year old, maybe even before that, he didn't do quite the same normal things, mm -hmm. eye contact, um, responding in certain ways. It was mm -hmm. kind of delayed, but I didn't know. I was a first time mother. Um, I'd take him to music class, you know, where everyone, all the little babies were singing and donging and, and all having fun and he would be holding his hands, screaming, going, on the door grip not to go in there. Mm -hmm. He just didn't want to do normal things and I couldn't understand why. Um, I got a diagnosis um, of that he was on the spectrum um, at about three years old. Okay, so very early really. Yeah, as early, I think. Yeah, they can't do it before then. I so. don't think so. Yeah. yeah. So you pretty much knew from, from early on with him? I knew there was, a, there was some problems, but I didn't know what, what it was. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how was he growing up? Um, he was, um, he cried all the time, he didn't sleep, um, he didn't connect, he was a very loving little boy though, mm. to me and to, to those that he knew. Um, he was a runner, keep <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he was quick, um, but you know physically his milestones were, were, were very normal. Um, but, um, you know, uh, uh, um, intellectually, um, no, it, it, we, we started to realise that he wasn't doing things in the way, the same way. I mean, finding out that your child with special needs is something that nobody else can really understand how that feels, even another family got a child with special needs. Do you mind sharing with us how you felt on the day you got Finn's diagnosis? Oh, no, not at all. Um, the, the, it was very, very difficult. Um, um, well, uh, initially, actually, he got diagnosed because of this. I took him to a sleeping centre in Australia. We have the sleeping, and you, you, you board in there with your baby. Essentially, it's a controlled client, it's horror. Anyway, they said to me, they whisked me in. They knew there was problems. This was at 18 months old. They whisked me in and they said, right, you know, you're in to the paediatrician. She told me that he had mosaic down syndrome and this is the diagnosis, we must not get a blood test and this is what, and, and so I took him back to my paediatrician and, and I said, no, no, I'm here for, for sleep problems, I don't know what you're talking about, you know. So that was the first thing that I, that, you know, but they all knew that something was not right. So then I took him back to my paediatrician and that's when we started doing a lot of testing, a lot of, and so I had, it was that first initial, okay, at 18 months, you've definitely got the, um, a problem with this child. Yeah. Child, think, okay, what, what is it? But what is it? Mm. And then it took, um, it took up to, you know, once we did, he just thought, my pediatrician thought he was just a bit of a quirky kid, a little bit delayed because he was so premature, mm. this sort of thing, let him catch up, let him catch up. Then my, the light bulb, bulb moment for me was taking him to Jigsaw, which was an aspect um, run little preschool and going in and just seeing five or six fins <laughs> sitting there doing exactly the same thing as what he did. And I burst into tears and I, it was just, I think it was relief. Mm -hmm. I finally know, to know we know right. what it is. And now I can tangibly do something about it. Make a plan and work with specialists and get supervision in place for him. Exactly, yeah. If we fast forward to now, mm -hmm. What achievements have you seen Finn make that you maybe didn't expect him at the time? Gosh, where to start? <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, like back then we did every sort of early intervention that we could and it definitely made a difference. I, I think so. 
we are lucky. I do think that as the years have gone on with him, he has improved. Um, he's, he's getting more social, he's getting more uh, interactive, he, uh, he's fitting into the world better, you know. Um, now he's, he's getting to the age where he's into his teenage years, which, you know, when we looked back at when he was seven or six or something, that was pretty scary. He's better now than he's ever been. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is because um, I think he's had good um, support mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and he's a really nice person too, so he's pretty easy to love. That's the show. Then everybody's got the same text notes right away. It's great. Um, so you're a teenager now. Um, and what are your hopes in the future? What would you see doing after school's finished? Right. You know, as as a parent for for any child, but especially one with 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 um, special needs or, or, or on the spectrum, um, I just want him to be independent. I want him to be happy. Um, and I want him to be able to look after himself and to to work. I mean, you know, just just I don't care if he's not some great successful whatever. So, but to be happy and to be able to take care of himself. Do you see transition to employment as an important step for Finn? Very, the most important step right now. How do you think? Um, Finn has responded so far to being in a, a work type environment? Well, you know what? I think he's going to surprise us all. I really do. Because um, he's very um, aware of himself. He really wants to interact with people, which is, you know, that's come so far. Whereas before from avoiding it, now he seeks it. Um, so I think that um, it's going to be a wonderful experience and, and, and a great journey for him. I think he's ready for it. Yeah, I think he's ready for it. Just one last question. Um, how would you say having a child with special needs has changed your life? Oh, well, I think, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy, but I think that it makes you definitely a better person, and I feel very lucky to have Finn, and, and very honoured to have Finn. I really do. Hey, thanks for being this here with us today. Could Hi. you just introduce yourself a little bit? Um, hello, my name is Tom, and I am Finn's brother, and that's that. That's <laughs> that. How old are you, Tom? I am 11 years old. Okay, and can you tell us a little bit about Finn? Um, Finn is my amazing brother, who I love to spend time with, and, um, you know, I love him. I love him a lot. A lot. What sort of things do you like to do with Finn? We like to play games. Yeah. We like to like chat about some, some games and stuff. We like gaming yeah. and stuff together. Would you say he's your best friend? Definitely. Definitely. How old is Finn? Finn is 13 years old. And is there anything special about Finn? Finn um, has autism. Okay. But in my opinion, he's special because of like he has a special caring for certain things like animals, people, and all of that sort of stuff. He's growing up and um, he's starting to become a man. He's starting to become a man. Oh, well, well, he's certainly big and strong. We yeah. see that all the time. Um, what is autism? Can you tell us what you know about autism? Autism is um, a type of. I guess disability that um, affects learning. I don't like to think of it like that. I like to think of him as my normal awesome brother, but I guess that's how you would describe autism. But autism to you is having a super amazing older awesome, brother. Cool, epic, amazing, everything. <laughs> Um, what do you think Finn will do in the future when he grows up and gets a job? What can you see him doing? I think Finn will be an incredible actor and be in lots of famous movies. And um, I think he will enjoy what he does, become very successful, get a very good wife, everything like that, you know? So you think he'll go and lead his life the same way as everybody else does? Of course, yeah. yes. 
Um, do your friends at school know that you have a brother with autism? Yes, they do. And they treat it absolutely normally, except for one person. It's not um, yeah, they treat it absolutely normally. They, we're all, I'm all good friends with them. They're all good friends with me. And I've enjoyed my grade 5 class a lot. Yeah. And did you explain to your friends what autism is, or did they know already? Yes, I explained to them. Um, yeah, I had to explain to them about certain things and stuff like that, and yeah. <laughs> but for you it just makes your relationship with your brother even better? Yes. And you wouldn't he, change him for the world? Shares, yeah, yeah, I never change him. And he shares a lot of me, and I think it's so nice. And Best older brother ever? Yes. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you very much, Tom. Hey, Finn. Hi. How's it going? Good. Good. We've just been talking to Tom. Who's Tom? Um, he's my younger brother. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about him? Uh, he's 11 years old. Oh. And uh, yeah, we play games with each other. Yeah. What kind of games do you play? Horror games. Horror games? You're not scared? Sometimes, but yeah, not really that much. <laughs> and Tom was telling us a little bit about you, and he was saying you're pretty much the most amazing, epic, awesome, fantastic older brother in the world. That's pretty true. <laughs> it's pretty true. <laughs> I mean, even. What does having autism mean? Um, I think what my brother said was. Uh, get a little, get something like that. Things get a little bit confusing sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But for you, it's just normal. Yeah. Yeah. And you like being around people. Yeah. Yeah. Much. Do you have lots of friends? Yes. Any girlfriends? Not yet. Not yet. But maybe in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got your eye on anybody? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> what would you like to do in the future, Finn? When you uh, finish school and you get a bit older and you have a job, what would you like to do? Uh, uh, become an actor, as usual. Have a wife and kids. Wife and kids? How many kids do you want? I say three. Three? Well, I hope you're a super famous actor. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. What sort of what sort of movies would you like to be in? Kid movies. Kid uh, movies. Thriller. Yeah. Or even horror. Yeah. And what sort of things do you do when you come to the coffee shop? What sort of things do you learn? Um, that I uh, that I help uh, cooking and uh, ask the customers what they want. Yeah. How do you ask the customers? Can you remember how you do it? kind of food or drinks that they want. Yeah. And you have to write it down? Yes. Yeah. What what do you do when the customer comes into the coffee shop? What's the first thing you do? Say um you, you say can I take you on the corner? Yeah, good job. And do you like speaking to the customers? Yeah, a bit. Yeah? It's okay? Uh, do you prefer being in the kitchen? Maybe, yeah. You, you like to do both? I guess, yeah. yeah. That was really good, buddy. Good job. High five, Finn. <laughs>